what is going on my kaiju fans, it's your boy Burn Godzilla fan 1954 here and with the back with another figure review and before I get into this just want to say happy Halloween to everybody there's a special video I'm making for Halloween it's October 31st you know y'all get y'all spook on and everything and for this figure review we're going to be reviewing the black and white uh, three figure set of Shin of uh, Shin Godzilla as well as the new 2024-1974 Godzilla figure. I still took the I still have the tag on this guy. I haven't taken it off yet because he looks so similar to this one, but I can tell like by the difference between him because of um it says I think it says 2024 on here somewhere. Or it, actually it says Bandai 2000 what 2 or 1 or 2003, but I'll be able to tell I like, by like just the way he is and then his paint job and everything. But we're going to get started on this guy first. There's a couple other figures I want to show you guys as well. And then we're going to get on to these three right here. So without further ado, let's get this started. So first, this is the 1974-2024 uh, Godzilla right here. There's a tag on him. So going to show you guys that first. From Godzilla vs. Godzilla Movie Monster Series. A pretty cool figure, same base and everything, really just a different, better paint job and everything, and he's new. So I'll just, I'm just going to show you guys a quick glimpse of him, and then I wanted to discuss something with you guys. So, I went to this new shop that opened up in my local mall called Mimosa, or I think it's Minosa, actually, Minosa, that's what it's called. I don't know why I said Mimosa, but it sounds just like that. And there was a couple of things I got from them. I got I posted it on Instagram um, maybe a week ago, but I never actually made videos on them. So I'm just going to show you guys these, uh, the figures I got. So here are the Bandai Ultraman figures I got. Here's the original Ultraman right here. Right? Yeah. I think it's the original Ultraman. I got him. So he's pretty cool. I also got the Rising Ultraman Bandai figure. And I also got Gigantron and Emmy as well. So those are just some of the couple other figures I got from them. And then I also got me the I went to Box Lunch and also got me the new. I'm pretty sure they're new. They're either new or re-releases. I I don't have the full detail of them, but the HG Plus. Or, let me see what it is. They're, they were in these ba this bag right here. Here it is. It's the HGD Plus figures. I got all of them right here. I got all eight. And I got the, their base stands ready. So I'm going to show you guys this real quick. And I'm just going to show you guys them one by one. Because they're really just small figures right here. So let me back my camera up. Just a little bit. Sorry for the messages. It happens whenever I move figures because some of them are pretty old and everything. So here's Godzilla in 1989. Right here. I got him. There is Space Godzilla right here. And yeah. I hate that they don't stand or have like a little like place that you can put them at. Because really you could really place them however you want. Then there is... I think they... What they call it? Is it a little Godzilla or baby Godzilla? It's one or the other. I don't remember. Because it, it, he, he goes to his full... Or, or his teenage form as junior. I think it's little Godzilla. I'm going to take a guess because that's really going to bother me. And then I have Balante in her rosé form. Then we have Kiryu or Mecha Godzilla. Pretty cool. Then we have Mogira. He didn't really come with nothing, just really just him in the stand and everything. And then, you know, some people pronounce it differently. It's here, Hedora or Hedera. So I got him. And then we have the other Heisei Godzilla that came with him as well. I and mean, he came with two building pieces, but these ones you can actually stand on because they had like the little pieces and you just place them on there. So yeah, I did get those eight on the same day I got those Ultraman figures. So let me move these guys to the side real quick. And then there's one more thing I want to show you guys real quick. 
Oops, one just fell. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. There we go. Okay, got him fixed. So I'm probably scratching my table too. Because they're like, they're like, I wouldn't say they're sensitive, but they're very hard to keep still when you're like moving them and kind of posing and showing them off. Okay, and then I also did not know that the Bandai also made these little mini Ultraman collection figures as well. Uh, just like those like uh, translucent color Godzilla ones, they also made ones for Ultraman too, for Ultraman Rising. So we have Ultraman, kind of like in his fighting pose, and that's him in his translucent one as well. So I'll put him to the side. We have Emmy. And she's right here. I got the whole box too, by the way. I didn't get no copies at all whatsoever. We got Emmy and her translucent. We got the other Ultraman and kind of like his other fighting pose. Right here. Let me see if I can get him out. There we go. So I got him. Move him to the side too. We have Gigantron. And where is, where is her translucent? There it is. Got them too. So, and then we have, I think it's uh, Demuer. I I I rarely see this monster ever, so sorry if I don't remember the name. But his translucent is pretty cool. It's purple. Kind of reminds me of Shin. So yeah, and his little angry face too. So yeah, and then we have Narango with uh, his uh, green translucent. So yeah, see this is one of the most like iconic monsters, so I'm going to put these back real quick. Okay. We're just going to do it like that, yeah, and now fix it later, so yeah. So like I said, just, so those HG figures, um, and the uh, Ultraman figures and the, the little mini Ultraman are just some of the things I got. And then without further ado, let's get back to this Halloween special video. So I'm just going to show these guys off real quick, and then we're going to end the video with that. So here's his second form of a shin. This one's kind of got like a grayish, whitish color. Which is pretty cool, because it really is mainly black and white. But this one's more of the grayish color. That's pretty cool. You can't really move him. You can't move his tail. You can't move his... Oh, you can't move his legs, actually. I thought they were glued from it, but they're just stuck. You know, well, no arms are over here. Then we have his third form, where he kind of stands up more upright. A little bit more of a darkish color, a little bit of gray in there as well. And then he's got a little T-Rex arms right here. Pretty cool. This one right here is like, probably one of the scariest ones of Godzilla's forms I've ever seen. And then we got his tail tip right here. See, it's kind of forming. And then just like this one, you can only move his arms. So yeah, Can't really move the tails really that much, because they're kind of just glued on there. And then we have Shin Godzilla in his fourth form. There's also an Awakening one, the Ortho version, and I haven't got that one yet, but I'll be getting him soon. But his arms, you know, they move all around. You can move his legs, and I'm pretty sure you can move... Can you move that part of his tail? No, you can't. Okay. So you can't move either part of his tail, and then you got that tail tip right there as well. Very cool for a set. Um, I give it a... 6 out of 10 because only because it's just the same base it's just black and white see these companies I will tell you guys this if you're a completionist like me you just got to have everything just to complete the whole set I can understand why you would buy it but if I wasn't a completionist I would be okay with the original ones I have because I have the original ones the translucent ones and the special color version ones like um I think I have a blue version of that one right there I got the yellow version of him, and then I got like four or five different versions of this guy right here, and they're all the same base. There's literally no difference in the figures. All they do is just make different make color variations and make the color variations better or worse. It's just really up to if you decide to buy them or not. So, yeah. But that's really going to be it for the video, you guys. And also, big news coming up right here, and I'm going I'm to go ahead and spoil it already. My SH Monster Devolve Godzilla should be coming soon. I think it's coming next week, and I'm so excited for it. 
So it's going to be a pretty good review video next week as well. So, yeah. But that's all I wanted to say, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a happy Halloween.